Hey, so right now we're going to grab Vanessa's necklace at 8 o'clock at night because uh, so because uh, we every six months I bought I bought this really nice necklace for uh, Christmas so every six months sorry guys I'm looking for something <laughs> so every six months um, we have to get it clean and it stays under like some kind of insurance and if we do that it will stay under an insurance policy so this time or we went to go get it clean but it also broke like the day we were taking to get it clean. So now, it's been like two weeks, or it's only been like a week actually, huh? They got it done pretty quickly. Oh, really? So it's been two weeks. Or, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's been two weeks, and, uh, so, um, we're supposed to, so now we're gonna go grab it. She wants to go grab it right now, this second, because she says she feels naked without it. Because... It's a really nice necklace that I got her. It's really pretty, and it's like symbolizes both of us, I guess, because it has like two hearts on it or something with some diamonds. But yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. So we're gonna go grab it for her and get this, get it, get her necklace back. Yeah, make a little, a little midnight, a little night adventure. Midnight at 8 o'clock. No, I didn't say midnight. I said night. I said mid and then I stopped it said night. Technically. Oh, there it is. I was looking for this. Technically, this is our, this is our midnight. Yeah, we usually like say. That's why she's bed. like, that's why she's looking a little like ratchet. I like now. to go to bed at 8.30. He always goes I mean, even though when I look, even when I'm, it looks a little fly. With the, got the brand new Nutrishop shirt on. And then I got my hat. I mean, I don't know. I look at it. I mean, I'm, I'm dressed like a slob too. I'm just playing around, but yeah, I gotta get. Let's get Mila. Oh, come on, bubble. Oh. And so, <laughs> look at it. So we. Ah, get her. Thanks, baby. So. <laughs> so we uh. Gotta keep her off the furniture. I didn't know she went up there, but she's been sleeping, so that's okay. And she didn't get any blood on it. But yeah, so we had to mop the whole floors and stuff because she's been, you know, she started her heat cycling and stuff. We gotta go get her spade because that's not good. <laughs> we would love to have like some puppies and stuff with her. Like, she's beautiful and she would have some beautiful puppies, but we just don't have, like, <laughs> it's just. That's a lot of time and effort right now that we just don't have in our like lives to be doing stuff like that. And it's just like, and it's also not good for the dog. It takes off years off their life. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. You wanna take my car? No. What? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm just gonna take my car anyway. Do you have your key? Yeah. Do you have? Yeah. I'm bringing my keys. No, I have my keys. Oh, I already grabbed them. It's okay. I'll just put my phone. I feel bad because I almost never trust her when she brings her key. When she says she bring she brought her keys, I'm always all like, I'm always like. Did you grab the ticket? Okay. So I'm always so scared that she doesn't bring them, but I don't know. We'll see. Who was it? He goes. It's good. It's good. It's good. What is that from? It's good. It's good. And the guy that, that has some mustache and that's the it's, way the cooking crumbles. It's good. No, it wasn't Ron Burgundy. It wasn't Will Ferrell, was it? It's good. No, it's definitely not Will Ferrell. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's oh, oh yeah, yeah. My bad. Damn, I look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, You're talking about Evan Almighty. Almighty. Yeah. yeah, that's Jim Carrey. Jim carries the shit. What do you guys think? Okay, so whoever watches these, do you watch sports? And if you see this, let me know what sports you watch. And let me... Sorry, hold on. Hold on, hold on, let me see this, let me see this. I can't let it go because it's... It's a belly button and it's a crab. It's a crab? Yeah, what the fuck do you think that was? It's my friend, she's pregnant, but... Who gives a fuck? You can't sell. <laughs> but like, wait, what is on her belly? She's anyway, uh, um, she's pregnant. Yeah, that's just like fucking crap. <laughs> How the fuck did she get that on there? 
It's weird. But um, anyways, yeah, though. Um, so let me know what you, if you guys watch basketball, let me know what y'all think about West, Ru Russell Westbrook <laughs> getting the uh, MVP award. Do you agree with that? Do you not agree with that? I mean, I agree with that 100%. I think he was well-deserved for sure. Um, and what do you think about Draymond Green getting that Defensive Player of the Year award? I'm pretty for that, too. Like, I I mean, it was in between him, him and uh, Kawhi to me. Like, him and Kawhi Leonard was, like, tie kind of for me. But Draymond's stats were better, so I just yeah, have to agree with that. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> you can tell I was making faces on the camera. You're dumb. You're silly. Silly, silly girl. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to start doing some stuff, some new stuff soon. I'm going to start doing some, like, some, we're going to start doing, we're going to do a funny social experiment on some people and that's with them. You're also, you're going to see some cool videos coming up soon. Also, I'm going to start doing some fitness stuff. So if you see this, like, I, I, we're, we're both really pretty knowledgeable on the whole fitness um, thing, like everything, like pretty much with it, like if you have any dieting tips, whatever, workout things, let me know. And if you have any questions or whatever and you see this, put it in the comments, let me know. And let me know what kind of uh, uh, videos you'd like me to do and what kind of workouts you might want me to go through and stuff or what kind of body muscle groups you might want me to go through. Because I'm going to start putting some up and stuff and then we'll get it going. Uh, Alright guys, let's start something a little bit. What's up guys? So we just got out the mall. We went and grabbed her necklace. Show them your necklace. She's all happy that she got it back. And <laughs> she's all like crazy. So yeah. Hey, sorry, so we just jumped back in the car. So yeah, um, we're gonna go to a little location. You guys are gonna um, I'll put up as soon as we get in there. It's gonna be funny. So um but yeah, so my dad just called, said he'll be home like an hour from Anthem. They're ju he's just getting back. He'll be home in an hour from his trip that he left. Uh, excuse me, on Thursday. Excuse me, Thursday morning I think they left or Friday morning. So that was the trip we were originally supposed to go on, and they all was telling me all this great time he had out there and the stuff they did. I'm like, he's like, oh, wish you would have came. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Us too. Us two. Instead, we got almost fucking killed and starved for two days. And starved for two days with absolutely fucking no sleep. with fucking three hours of sleep and forty-eight hours, and I got to drive home the whole time. That the second on the way home, five to five and a half hours I drove home, at least. I will never. That's why I do not like going you can't i don't like going on trips that like I, I have no control over and i don't know the d or at least i don't even know the details or the people i'm going with horrible feeling listen to the anxiety in your head no i'm just playing guys don't let that anxiety get to you sometimes you just gotta do shit and you know what it was a shitty trip but you know it's it's funny like we like it's funny to think about and like laugh it off like damn like we literally could have fucking died in like us like getting out of there though, you know. I mean, I don't fucking know. Those dudes were some creepy ass motherfuckers, but hey though, you know we got to have some fun. If you didn't go, babe, you would have left me to die there by myself because they. Yo, possibly have, like they if there was have left there. Like, yeah, it was me that got us to leave, and it was just been a feet. Uh, it was just been two girls and one, you know, dude who was a smaller guy. So it's like you know. We don't know what's gonna happen, so I mean, I guess it's a good thing I went. So yeah. So all right, so you hold up. So you guys are gonna see we're going in a second. So look where we're at, guys. We're in <laughs> we're in Toys R Us right now. We have to get the train. Thomas the train. Hold up. Can you see yourself? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. So we came to Toys R Us because we were driving by. And I think I've only been in here, like, I used to love coming here when I was a kid, but we never came in very much because we was broke as fuck. Or I was, she, she, uh, but she said she doesn't remember coming here either, so I remember, like, I, if I ever got to come in here, it was because my nan and my papa, since we were so broke, my nan and my papa weren't, weren't, uh, weren't broke, so if I ever got to see them, they would hook me up, come take me to get, like, a Spider-Man toy once in a great while, so that was awesome. I love my nan and my papa, so we... We're just driving by and we're like, dude, let's go on a little, since we're going to get our necklace, we're like, get on a little midnight adventure. Sorry, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it kind of low key right now, because I know a lot of places don't like it when you be videotaping in their stores. But, 
hey, you guys gotta do stuff. You, got, you always gotta do stuff like this. Gotta go somewhere that like made you kind of happy as a child. I mean, you got a little inner child in you. I mean, you know, I'm not I super attracted to grabbing some of this, this stuff. This was my shit. When I, was a kid. when I was a kid, I always wanted stuff like that. My parents be like, what the? My parents be like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You wanna do that? Go mow the actual lawn. Go actually, go actually vacuum the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you think I'm playing, <laughs> but no, like, I love this, it's, I love, like, getting those little feelings that used to make you happy when you were a kid and stuff. I can't wait to take my kids here when they're younger and I get to just come in here and buy them a toy once in a while. But you gotta let them earn it, though. Hmm? Oh, look at him put on the slide, <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. She asked me if I ever had some placemats. I was like, we were broke, bro. I was like, you think my fucking parents were gonna spend three bucks on a damn placemat? I was all like, I remember my cousin used to have the bowls with the straws in them, like these, and I used to be jealous as fuck. We've had the same bowls since our first apartment 15 years ago as we do now. You think I'm playing? Dead is serious. So, you know, we can, um, for a challenge, we can buy like baby food and then like. Try it. Try it, but you have to have you have to be blindfolded. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do a taste challenge. A though, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite thing growing up. My, my favorite stuff I had like to grow up. My only guy. toys I ever got that I would save up every penny, or if I would get one on my birthday, I'm gonna show you my favorite shit I used to play with. Favorite things growing up. I, oh, these are the only things I ever got to play with. Was. Not those things, I don't know what these are, but like stuff like that. But they were a little bit better back in the day. Lego Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Like, that was my shit. Like, when I go home, I still have a couple, like a box of like, ones that I had that like I spent forever on when I was really young. We boxed them up after, we kept them in bubble wrap for like years. Been there for like 10 years plus. I'll show you when I get home. What do you mean? And I gave like a whole box away with like the baddest, the coolest ones I had too. I gave them away. This is my friend's little brother, but I'll show you guys when I get home. All right, we're about to get out of here soon. All right, guys. So we back from Toys R Us and grabbing Vanessa's necklace. So now um, I already planned out my day earlier. Actually, um, it's not a clock, so I'm gonna get one of my my last meal of the day in. And then, um, not too much we can do left tonight. It's kind of getting late. I'm trying to get up at like 4.30 tomorrow. So, excuse me, after I eat, we're going to go lay down. And we're just going to read our books for about a half hour. And then just fall asleep after that. <laughs> and uh, I say that is probably one of the most important things, though, of every day. Is to try to get some reading in of, like, some self-improvement, self-help books. Like, I don't know, just everything I've ever read, every mentor or coach has ever told me is self-improvement daily is, like, necessary and key to, like, everything. To, like, improving your life, like, succeeding, everything. So, actually, I'm going to show you guys my book collection in a quick sec. Let me... Yeah, so these are some of my books that I've read or am going to read or am currently reading. So let me check you out. Real quick. Show you real quick. So my first two original books, like I bought three books originally, right? Like is when I started my reading and all that stuff and like my actual journey on like wanted a better life and all that stuff about a year and a half ish ago. So. And it was a nice, you know, I started meeting more with my coach slash mentor. Um, I'm actually going to go see him tomorrow. Maybe I'll bring this over and vlog. But anyway, so he told me to get three books to start off with everything to start learning that are, like, crucial. So one, I was going through a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, my pops with my life and just a bunch of crazy stuff has happened. Um, um, I'll start talking more about that soon. But I've had, like, just a lot of crazy stuff happen in my life. And I've had a pretty... Um, difficult slash nuts upbringing and stuff like that but so I had got this book that I actually gave to my grandma because my grandpa on my this is on my dad's side my grandma she still lives they still live in Arizona um my grandpa cheated on her a long time ago so she still got like some resentment even though it was like 10 years ago and uh, it's crazy because my grandpa was a very religious man and like very high up in the church that we were in and or I wasn't in the church at the time but and like all this stuff people look up to him so they're really upset and stuff but so I gave her I gave her the first book I ever read it was called um and that was a great book 
like for personal development and like self like help like it was amazing helps you really realize that you um that you're like the way you see other people and things that make you upset is it shows that like you're kind of mirroring off of them that you're like the, the bad things that you see and a lot of times the good things that you see is just like a reflection of yourself that you're seeing in other people and that's actually how you really see people so and then the other two books were think and grow rich and um outwitting the devil and think and grow rich is like a must read for anybody who's an entrepreneur or anything with like self-help and stuff like that and outwitting the devil per my personal favorite book ever so here are the books that i've read so here they are. These are some. Of, these are some of them since I'm missing the other two. And actually, here are some books that I read when I was a kid. I never read growing up. This book and this book, Muhammad Ali. And I have one on Walter Payton that I don't know where it's at. Only two books I've ever read that and like you know Bible and stuff. So, Code of the Extraordinary Mind, an amazing book. I read this one, Highly Effective, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's a great book. The Power of Broke by Damon John is a great book. Um, Tony Robbins, Money Master the Game. I have not read this one yet. And Tony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. And I have not read this one yet. Um, I got the, I bought, I ordered this one off, or no, I ordered this one offline when, because uh, I saw it really cheap online. So I was like, you know what? I'm definitely going to get it. And Power Broke and uh, Money Master the Game. I got those for Christmas from uh, Vanessa's mom. So shout out, Miss Garcia. Love you, Mama. Love you, Mama Garcia. <laughs> and then uh, my girl got me this book, The 4-Hour Work Week, which I've really been wanting to read, and I cannot wait. I just had a couple books I had ahead of it. So that's why I read The Power Broke first. It's like I felt like I needed to read a motivated book. And uh, before I read like a totally efficient one, and then I just got this one a few days ago, or maybe or like a week ago, called Tools of Ti Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. He wrote the Four Hour Work Week. Look how big this shit is. It's fucking things huge. But this is like one of the number one books in the world right now. And I also got Unshakable by Tony Robbins. This is new, came out this year. I read half this book, and uh, then like a f like whenever it came out, I read about half the book really fast. When I was, especially when I was going through this thing called Hell Week, because I also have a lot of other books on my Am my Amazon Audible, and uh, that book I was reading that book a lot during Hell Week, and that was a really good book. So it really helps uh, help me out and understand like a lot more of the marketing stuff. So, um, but I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna finish reading that after I finish this book right here. My coach just gave me to borrow to help me out with my morning routines and stuff. It's called The Miracle Morning. So I'm also gonna start doing some book reviews on this channel and stuff too. So once I do that, um, I'm gonna start, once I read it, I'm gonna start going over and see how I put The Miracle Morning to my morning routine. I think I have a pretty solid morning routine, but I definitely could improve it. And then obviously, Outwitting the Devil, which I'm actually letting my dad read right now, but he's also had this for like a fucking year. So I'm never gonna, he's never gonna probably finish it, but, and, but every time I like, I'll take it back, I hear, Hey, why'd you take the book? I was also gonna read it. I'm like, you've been on page 100 and fucking five. What? 105, I'll bet. Or 106, whatever. Oh, sorry. 106. Just like I said, 105, 106. So I've been on that. So, you know, whatever. And then uh, Vanessa actually bought a book a while ago that she was reading. But then she stopped reading, because we both stopped reading for like a month or so. Like we're like really drifting off and stuff, like just kind of like not, I wasn't, I was I was like not, um, I wasn't being productive, I was being lazy and kind of like a little pity party a couple months ago and then like I was just like, why am I being so lazy and stuff? So she got this book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, it's supposed to be a great book. I actually wanted to read that too, so it's kind of good she got that. So we're also going to get, there's a couple other books I want, but. Oh yeah, let me get on my Amazon Audible app. Show you some books I got on there. Cause I say I listen to a book like every morning, right? So you'll really like like I love listening to books. I used to listen to books all the time on the way to work, and I would finish a lot of books by doing that. I like listening to podcasts too, like with Gary Vaynerchuk and stuff. So this is the one I'm on right now is Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm almost done with it. I love this book so far though. It's been very helpful, especially doing these vlogs and stuff too. So I got Think and Grow Rich on here as well. I got the Ten Times Rule by uh, Cody Garbrandt or Grant Cardone. Sorry about that, Cody Garbrandt. He's a UFC fighter. By Grant Cardone, David and Goliath. Under, jeez, she's getting all crazy. 
David and Goliath. Um, Underdogs, Misfits, and the Arts of Battling Giants. So that's a good book. Hell Week, Seven Days to Best You, I think is what it's called. To Best Self. So you to be your best self. Sorry. <laughs> so that's a good one. That I actually did that. So that's it's only it's a really short book, and it puts you through this thing called Hell Week. And if you want to learn about it, you'll go to it. It's great. Um, Napoleon's Keys to Success. It's like a 30-hour book. It's just kind of like this thing. I haven't li re listened to that one yet. But uh, What Doesn't Kill Us by Wim Hof. Wim Hof is like this crazy badass with like 30 world r records that I want to get to. Um, that like I want to. I've learned kind of about that my coach told me about because he did this really cool thing with breathing to help like control your mind like he swim he would swim in the Arctic and he used his mind to warm him up him up himself up it's insane he's got like world record for the longest ice bath alive he's insane he's awesome The Alchemist which is like a pretty well known book The Slowly Bible Dom Mazzetti or Mike uh, Tribbioni whatever you want to call him is the shit Fucking, I don't care. Like I, I'm like I'm not. I'm not. I obviously don't get paid doing this shit. Obviously, I'm not even big. But like this shit, all these books are dope. But definitely this holy Bible. Check out some dude called Bro Science. You won't regret it. How to win friends and influence people. That's a great book as well. And Three Feet from Gold. It's a really good book too. So a lot of them, a couple, some of them are kind of motivational, but I like to mainly read stuff that, like, get, I, I, main, I only really like to read books that are informational to me, not really just motivating. So all the books I have are, like, teach me something, but, like, uh, a lot of them help motivate me, which is great, too, as well. But I'm usually just motivated when I read, because I'm, 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 get, like, motivated to better myself after I read and I learn these things. What's up, boo? I asked you to put the drug on the water thing. The what? Drug on the water thing. Oh, I thought it. Oh, my bad, baby. I'll go do that. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the end. I'm probably just gonna make this its own vlog. It became like a little longer than usual, but uh, yeah, guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks for watching our nightly, our little night adventure, our adventure <laughs> we got. But uh, it was fun. Say bye, peoples. Bye. <laughs> Alright, peace out guys, have a great day, don't forget to like and subscribe, pass me along to friends, later.